Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel. Movie Story Recapped. Today. I am going to explain. An American superhero movie based on the Marvel Comics superhero team. The Avengers, released in 2012. This is the first part of the Avengers series. Spoilers ahead. Watch out. And take care. At the start of the movie, we see Loki who is talking to someone about the Cosmic Cube. Because he is going to open a portal while taking the Cosmic Cube on Earth. So the army of Thanos could come here. This deal was done. Now we see the scene of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Agency. The Cosmic Cube was placed there. A helicopter lands there and Nick Fury was inside it. Coming inside he meets a scientist. He was told some strange radiations were emitting from the Cosmic Cube. None knows why is this happening. Then Loki comes there to take the Cosmic Cube. They all immediately guard the Cosmic Cube. While using his powers Loki makes them fall at a far distance. He lifts up Cosmic Cube and starts running. Nick Fury was shooting him from behind. Some people go behind him in the cars but he successfully escaped. Nick Fury asks the people there we have to make a team of the Avengers. We have to get the Cosmic Cube again. Here we come to now one more thing. That S.H.I.E.L.D. agency has made a powerful weapon to fight with Thanos and his people, it was made with the energy of the Cosmic Cube. Now Nick Fury goes to Captain America. He is the first Avenger, Nick Fury tells him all story, that the Cosmic Cube has been stolen. To bring it back we need your help. On another side, we see Natasha brings Hulk from India. She says to Hulk that he has much knowledge about the Cosmic Cube. So we need your help, to get it back again. On another side, we see an agent. He talks about it to Tony Stark. Now he also comes in the team of Avengers. We see the agent with Captain America on a plane, he says to him your work is nice. I admire it. Now the plane lands and Captain America meets with Hulk and Natasha. They become happy after meeting each other. They sit on a ship. But after some time the ship starts flying. It means it was a flying craft. After it, Nick Fury while creating a hologram makes it invisible. There we see Loki with the two people of S.H.I.E.L.D. They were talking that the Cosmic Cube is most powerful. We can't control it until its radiations decreased. There is an element named Iridium and we will get it from Germany. So Loki and a man of S.H.I.E.L.D. decide that they will go to Germany. They go there. Nick Fury comes to know the other man and Loki have arrived in Germany. He says to Captain America get ready your suit immediately. Now Captain America comes in his new outfit. There we see the scene of Germany and a party was going on there. The commander was also there. Then Loki enters there and hits everyone with his stick. He lay down Commander at a place while holding him from his neck. He scans his eye hologram. And sends it to his companion. He has done this so while. Scanning Commander's eye his companion will get Iridium. His companion has done it soon and leaves from there. But Loki was there. Because he wants to show his power in front of all. They all will consider in strong, after it, he will rule on them. Loki asks them to bend in front of him. But then an old man says from the crowd we will not bend in front of you ever. Loki throws some energy from his magic stick on him. But before it touches the old man and he dies Captain America reaches there and brings his shield in front. With it, the old man was saved. Here Captain America says to Loki it is your wrong thinking they will bend in front of you. They all know you. You don't deserve to rule this world. Hearing it, Loki comes in anger. Here again, he uses his magical stick. But then Captain America again brings his shield in front. He again sends the shield to Loki. But Loki again attacks him Captain America moves behind while rolling. Loki was hitting Captain America a lot with his stick. Captain America was also defending himself. Then Iron Man comes there and seeing him, Loki gets panicked. That now they are too how will I fight with them? He immediately gets ready to go with them and they take him with them. Iron Man was talking to his companions. They come to Germany to get Iridium. 
because it is not an easy task to control the cosmic cube. To activate it and use it they need a high temperature. That temperature they will get from a tower in Germany. On another side, we see Loki he didn't come here in aircraft after the surrender there is huge planing of him behind it. In fact, he came here to destroy their aircraft. So Avengers will have nothing. He will safely escape from here. He orders his companion and he also comes with his companions in a plane near this aircraft. Then he shoots an arrow in the engine of the aircraft due to it, it sets on fire. Due to it, the aircraft starts falling down, but Iron Man goes and controls the engine. He tries to lift it again. It was a hard task. Now Loki's companions go to the place where he was imprisoned. They open the door and release him. Meanwhile, Thor also comes there and he goes inside while breaking the door. Loki immediately comes there and he locks Thor inside while getting out. When the agent comes to know this he takes out the advanced weapon which they had made with the energy of the cosmic cube. With it, he was about to shoot at Loki. Before him, Loki comes behind him. From behind he stabs his magical stick in him and makes him injured. On another side, we see Natasha and she punches hard Loki's companion. Due to it, he falls on the land. Then we see Loki escaping from here. He reaches the tower. With it, he has also placed the cosmic cube in a machine there. Then we see all Avengers together. Nick Fury tells them we have lost our agent. He was injured some time ago with the stick. They become sad. The Iron Man says. We should go to my industry in California. Then, they all reach California. But the bad thing is the portal was opened because of the cosmic cube. Thanos's army reaches there. Here all Avengers were together. Hulk also comes in his real getup, in anger. After it, he punches the bus of the army and destroys it. They were worried that how to close the portal. Meanwhile, Nick Fury receives the call of the directors. They say if you can't close this portal then we have the last option to blast this while city with a missile. The missile will be coming here soon. So take care of yourselves. Nick Fury tells this to Iron Man. We have only 2.5 minutes. We have to close the portal or we have to stop the missile. Natasha gets panicked. She reaches the portal with the magical stick of Loki. She tries to close the portal while taking out a lot of energy from it. But then Iron Man says her to stop and he says I have one more idea. I have a missile and I will throw it at the place where Thanos's army is. He reaches the place with the missile and destroys the place. But he didn't return from there after a long time. Captain America says to Natasha we don't have more time, we have to close this portal, otherwise, we will also be destroyed. Natasha was closing the portal, Iron Man was also in the portal. They were sad because they don't know what will happen further. If they will not close the portal they will be a blast with a missile, if they close the portal the Iron Man will stay inside. But then Iron Man comes down from the portal it means he falls on the land. They all become happy. They have destroyed the army of Thanos and their friend also returned. So the people there appreciate them. Meanwhile, all Avengers go to the door and their Loki was caught. Then we see Thor holds Loki and the Cosmic Cube also taking them with him he reaches Asgard that we have seen in the movie Thor. So in this movie, it means the ending scene of the Avengers part 1 we see that a man was saying to Thanos the people of the earth are powerful. We have to become more strong to fight with them. Here Thanos passes a smile it means he is ready for this also. Thanks for watching.